talent in this youngster called on Frank Blackman to nurture the budding track star. By age 14, Obo was representing Barbados at international competitions, and at 17, he was the fastest junior sprinter in the Caribbean. While Harrison College was his launching pad, his sights were set on the stars. The University of Texas El Paso did not recruit in Barbados, and therefore did not identify Oba as a candidate for a scholarship. Instead, Oba approached El Paso. He called the university athletic coach and convinced him that he should be awarded an athletic scholarship. That must have been a great sales call because he accepted, he was accepted to study marketing and economics on an athletic scholarship without first meeting the coach. He justified his selection when he, was, when he graduated El Paso with a 3.9 grade point average. You can clap for that. And was the banner bearer at the university's graduation ceremony. The honor of banner bearer was bestowed upon him not only because of his Hall of Fame NCAA career or his status as an Olympian, but because of his academic excellence. Clap for that. Yes. During his time at El Paso, Oba made his mark on the world stage. He established two world records, the 55 meter in Colorado Springs in 1997 and winning the 1994 World Junior 100 meter in Portugal. In 1996, he ran the then fastest ever 100 meter recorded, but this did not qualify for a world record due to the wind assisted conditions. It was in Atlanta in 1996 that he also became an Olympian, qualifying as a finalist in the 200 meter event and narrowly missing out on a medal when he, when he came fourth. His personal best performances are 9.87 seconds in the 100 meter and 19.97 seconds for the 200 meter, both Barbadian records. There is also, of course, 45.38 seconds for the 400 meter. He received many accolades during his college career. He was an 11-time NCAA All-American and a 16-time Western Athletic Conference champion. Clap for that. Thompson won several Athlete of the Year awards, including the University of Texas El Paso Athlete of the Year 1996 and 1997. U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coach Association NCAA Division I Male Indoor Athlete of the Year 1997 and the Stan Bates WAC Male Student Athlete of the Year 1997 and the State of Texas Certificate of Merit for his exemplary achievement in academics and athletics. Clap man, clap some more, clap some more. He has also been listed as one of the University of Texas El Paso's all-time top 10 male athletes. Oba has also been named among today's top eight by the NCAA, an award reserved for scholar-athletes who have demonstrated character and leadership qualities. He is the only non-American on the awardees list. <laughs> After graduation in 1997, Oba turned professional and began his preparations for the Sydney Olympics. It was on September 23, 2000 that his dream and that of all Barbadians came true when he crossed the finish line winning a bronze medal. He was then obtaining Barbados' first and only Olympic medal as an independent country. Many of us will recall the thrill of being among the thousands of Barbados who lined the streets to cheer for Oba as he passed in the motorcade from the airport down to government headquarters, where he was appointed Barbados' ambassador and special envoy to the youth by the then Prime Minister Owen Arthur. Oba was awarded the Barbados Silver Star Award in 1997 for his outstanding contribution to sports the Barbados Minister's Award for Sport in 2004 and was three times named in Barba as Barbados' National Sports Personality of the Year in 1994, 1996 and 2000. His third Olympic appearance in Athens in 2004 where he was also a finalist was his last as a hamstring injury during the 2008 Olympic trials ended his hopes of participating, participating in the Beijing Olympics. Oba retired from athletics in April 2009. Thompson was in inducted into the University of Texas El Paso Athletics and Drake Relays Halls of Fame in 2011. He has also other, had other life passions and been long involved in civic causes. This has included involvement with the Barbados Special Olympics, campaigning for the United Nations against drug abuse and filming a television commercial for UNICEF's The Rights of Children. An asthmatic, Thompson participated in 2001 World Asthma Day and filmed a television commercial based on his experience as a lifelong asthmatic. He received his Juris Doctorate from the University of Texas law, School of Law and practices international arbitration and litigation. It's also reported that in 1996, 
he wrote and produced a cassette called The Vibe, filled with Christian lyrics set to a rap beat. Perhaps we will see and hear more of his musical talents in the future. On February 24, 2007, Obadella married fellow athlete Marion Jones. The couple now have three children, Monty, Amir, and Eva Marie. Oba is deeply passionate about inspiring and helping people to achieve their real potential and live their dreams. He's an author, international speaker, and consultant who helps private and corporate high performers achieve sustainable, world-class results. Oba published his first book, Secrets of a Student Athlete, a Reality Check, which was endorsed by legendary Duke basketball coach, Mike Chachewski. Coach K. Coach K to those of us who can't say Coach Chachewski. We honor Oba today not simply because of what he has achieved on the athletic track, but because of what he has overcome and because of the examples he continues to set to us in his life. Well done and thank you, Oba. just something to for Oba to remember today. It just is a memoriam from Harson College in Dio Fides, 23rd of March, 2019. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for, for attending today. Um, I guess when Andrew was reading, it caused me to think about a lot of things. I, I said I was going to be short, and I plan to be very short. I don't have any prepared remarks, because I'm sure most of you all came to, to socialize rather than to hear me. But um, first off, I I'd like to thank the Lord for allowing me to reach this point in life. Yeah. The blessing of my parents who always supported me. You know, my, my mother. My, my mother and father are here, and they have always been my strongest supporter. I'm sure, as many of you all know, um, the road to success and whatever that is is never linear. It's, most of the time, it's full of bumps, it's full of heartaches, it's full of disappointments. And without my parents, I, I, I'm going to get really personal, I didn't expect to do this, but without them, I'm not who I am. And you, you, you know, it's, it's, it's a really humbling thing. Um, I remember I was 28 years old, preparing for the 2008 Olympic Games. And I had been, since 2000, after the Sydney Olympics, I had a series of injuries. I would get healthy, and as soon as I get healthy and get into good training, I would get injured again. And it was very frustrating, and I was basically living in, in Toronto, Canada, on my physiotherapist's um, table, getting treatment two to four hours every single day. I could barely run 10 meters. I had to learn how to run again. And I remember about three weeks before the Olympic Games, in 2004, sorry, um, calling my dad in tears. And my dad saying, it's gonna be okay, trust the Lord. They pray for me. And although I was, injured going into 2004, it's because of parents, like my parents, who protect me, who, who taught me what it is to fight. When I, when I think about the first thing, this is the first thing that I've actually been here back on the track in about 25 years. Yes. And <laughs> I'm running down there and thinking about all the memories. Many of you who train with me, went to school with me, uh, some of you who are before, before my time, and there are a lot of you who are after me. I know, <laughs> exactly. I know down here, and I know 
over there yeah. has so many memories for us that made us who we are today. Yeah. I, I wish I could name all the names, you know, um, Coach uh, Orlando Brain, who yeah. really changed the course of my life. Who changed the course of my life in, in one conversation. I won't correct the games. And I never used to already train that seriously. And I remember, I, I said, okay, I'm going to train seriously. And I remember I was around the corner here. And I went over to him and I said, I want to be the best junior. And I was thinking in the Caribbean. And before I finished that, he said, in the world. And I remember it's around that corner that my, it's like my head exploded. And that was the first time that I ever thought of, okay, well, maybe the world is a possibility. And with Frank Bachman, who wasn't here, who coached many people here. Rocky yeah. telling me, when he met me, coming up to me, he says, you're an Olympic medalist, you just have to choose a color. Or that will be <laughs> But it's things like that. And then having friends and running on teams and, and through the years having support. And even though when I sort of almost participate in Clash of the Decades, because <laughs> I always get injured, <laughs> um, to still have that strong camaraderie. And I think what you see um, in the results yesterday, and as I looked out and how our team won in the men's yesterday, <laughs> that's all a part of it. And I'll, I'll, I'll end now. Well, thank you very much. Thanks to the College Foundation. Thanks to all of you who've shown up. There are many more who I know are, who have sent messages and who are here in spirit. You know, thank you very much. I, I am beyond honored. I would have never imagined this would have happened. And I am thankful that it's, it's in my lifetime. I'm thankful that I'm able to share it with you and that you're able to share it with me. Thank you very much. Has he cut the ribbon? Come a little closer, you know. Yeah. Peter, you go a little closer. Right, good. I get to know this. You took us in this to one to There we go. That's good, Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I